Hi class, uh, this is Psych uh, 370, Emotion Motivation. Uh, fall and spring semesters uh, basic um, uh, calendar and syllabus guide. So I'm gonna go over those very quickly, um, as quickly as I can, and give you a, still a decent grasp of the class. Uh, I'll start with the calendar first, because for a lot of people, that gives them an overview of the entire class. And um, that's the one that's gonna stick in your mind. And it doesn't take a long time, so. Let me go ahead and put my little face in the side of the screen here. And you will have, this is the calendar that I have attached to the first week. If you have not looked at the Quick Start Guide for the first week, watch that video before watching this one, uh, or certainly watch it right after this one. Um, it's pretty straightforward, okay? Basically, we have 16 weeks in the class, as you can see here. I've, let, I've put out the dates for fall of 2017 here. Okay, if this is a later time, it's going to be very similar. It's just going to have different dates. Okay, <laughs> so I'm not going to keep making these videos over and over again with different dates. Um, as you see up here in the key, looking up at the key here, DB equals discussion board, QOW means question of the week, and BB equals Blackboard Learn. Blackboard Learn is the online interface that I talked about in the Quick Start Guide. So definitely watch the other video. It's very straightforward. Pretty much the format for the class is the same each week. Okay, uh, we'll have a topic, usually a guiding question, right? What is an emotion? Do all people feel the same things? How do feeling that is affect and thinking that is cognition impact each other? What are the connection between emotion, i.e. anger and motivation? So, um, so again, these are all uh, basic questions that are guiding each week. And we do, again, a very applied approach. The readings are very, very straightforward, okay? You'll have readings each week in the Blackboard, week two folder, week three folder, week four folder, okay? So you do those readings, and we have our textbook, I guess you could call it a textbook, it's more of a popular book that's called Emotions Revealed by Paul Ekman. So again, that Ekman book, boom, you got that, preface and introduction, Ekman chapter one, and so the reading's pretty straightforward too. If you notice as we go down here, as we're getting into the projects, I'm beginning to skip the readings and it's all applied. You're working on the group presentation and you're working on your final paper here. And I give you actual weeks to work on this. <laughs> I'm not just clobbering you every week with work. It's like, give the time to do the work, okay? Now, every week, which do, usually there's a discussion board question, as I said, which focuses on the role that emotions play in social life, say for week four, there's gonna be a more personal focus question there, but your personal life, there's gonna be one that involves accessing and applying some of the academic work in the question of the week section, okay? So each one of those weeks has a discussion board question. In the other video, I showed you how to get to discussion boards, and each one has a question of the week section. And again, you click on those links and you submit your work in both of them. So the discussion board is 10 points. The question of the week is 15. We're a total of 25 pretty much every week. As we go down here, we have a presentation, group presentation, which is 100 points. And then finally, the final paper, which is 150 points. I have to stress again, very, very clearly, people, keep up, <laughs> okay? If you, if life takes you over and your kids get sick or do whatever, I'm super, super flexible. And if you're overwhelmed with other classes, you have free papers to turn in, you just simply let me know by using messages or email. Messages I prefer right there. Um, messages from the actual Blackboard Learn site. I'm usually okay. But here's one thing I will not put up with and has happened a couple of times before. People get behind. They don't start on time. They go two, three, sometimes four weeks without really turning much of anything in, maybe one or two assignments, and then they try to play catch up. That I don't have a lot of tolerance for. You need to start on time. Let me emphasize that. You need to start on time, okay? If you have a very complicated schedule, and we've had people who work full-time, full-time parents, and taking full-time classes, as crazy as that is, I'm willing to work with you if you make a good, earnest effort to keep up week in and week out. Little exception here or there, little wobble here and there. For the most part, not a problem, but I do not want to have to be keeping track of people. So please, please, out of respect for me and respect for yourselves and respect for the material, keep up with the work. All right, so there is your calendar. Again, you can download that on the site. Here is your syllabus. Let's just go over it very quickly. Here's my contact information here, okay? Again, you can download this on the week one, all right? 
especially lately, it's been difficult. I've been wrapped up in quite a few things. It's been difficult for me to get back with people with specific questions within 48 hours. I will do the best I can. Please have some tolerance for me on that. But again, if it's really about whether or not you can do a specific question or use a specific example, or if you have, are going to be turning in work late, just write it in a message to me, okay? And just assume, unless you hear from me, that it should be okay, okay? Um, course objectives. I'm trying to help you develop a working applied knowledge of emotion and motivation in addition to academic understanding. Again, through the four C's, capability, critical awareness, creativity, and compassion. I want to increase your proactive, not reactive, proactive emotional intelligence in engaging and evaluating emotions, especially in understanding that even emotional impulses can be engaged consciously and effectively. That's a big uh, learning that happens in this class. People think emotions are something that just happens to you, can't really control them. I'm not asking you to control them. I'm asking you to learn into them and then see where they come from and then transform them into helpful or positive emotions. So form the ability to be curious about and learn into emotions rather than simply control, suppress, avoid, or rationalize them, or become overwhelmed, intimidated, anxious, depressed, or triggered by them. Okay, so this is a very practical course. Develop the ability to see and effectively pursue difficult and specific goals. Enhance human awareness, effectiveness, and choice by studying emotions and their effects on motivation, learning into negative antisocial emotions, stopping the harmful and dynamics of negative emotions within the self and within relationships, and using this engagement to transform negative emotions into positive pro-social emotions. That sounds like something, like a good deal, that's what this class is going to offer. Department learning outcomes, you can go ahead and root through those. They're, they're your basic boilerplate, you know, you know, accreditation concerns. Required materials, there's not much. Basically, it all goes to the Blackboard course page and then the Ekman book. Please order this book either online or through the NAU bookstore as soon as you can, okay? And I will try to make sure I get this up to the class so you guys can have this video for yourselves. Okay, classroom commitment, be open, do your best, start early, share often, and trust yourself. Okay, um, it's, a, it's a class on emotions. Emotions can be difficult. It's easy to avoid jumping right in, especially if you're an introvert. However, so much of the value of this class exists in simply sharing your story and working through it, that you can become a more empowered person for yourself and your loved ones and a much more effective professional for others. So jump in, okay? Don't worry. I'm a very, very <laughs> gentle instructor. I don't jump on you. If you're vulnerable, I express my appreciation for that. I may ask you questions that help you get delve more into it, but I'm not going to jump down your throat. So don't worry about that. I'm constantly amazed and humbled by what happens when you simply trust yourself and share and do your best. Okay? I'm not here to judge you or your situation. I'm here only to empower you. In previous classes, people have shared stories of abuse, depression, divorce, the entire spectrum of human emotions and experience, and they've come through with such amazing colors that I've been literally humbled by their brilliance and courage. Okay? So this is a class where you can actually express your life, yourself, your emotions, and work through them. It's not something to look perfect or like an expert. That's not what I'm interested in. Okay? So, so this is an opportunity experiment to risk and find out. You don't have to pretend to know. You just have to be curious and engage the material in a way that inspires and motivates you in a passionate and profound way. This is not your normal academic class, as you will see. Leap on the opportunity and you will be rewarded in myriad ways. So here are the assignment descriptions. If this class is successful, it will help you understand past emotional motivational patterns, habits, and questions. It will help you explore present emotional motivational challenges, curiosities, and issues, and it will develop future emotional, motivational opportunities, abilities, and insights, okay? We talked a little bit about this, the question of the week. It's geared toward building understanding, right? This happens every week, connection and awareness around past and present research in emotion and motivation. Each week, I'll give a small introduction and summary of the academic material, as well as the Ekman source book. It's your responsibility to take notes, respond to the theme question of the week related to this material, referring to at least one academic article. That doesn't mean it could be a little teeny one sentence quote. That's good enough, guys. Okay. <laughs> you know, if you're really pressed for time and you wanted to quote unquote cheat, you really focus on one article, you write 
three major points or star three major points that you got from that article. You skim the other articles. You use that one article. You show me that you've engaged the material and you can answer the question of the week. Okay. So that's really what it's about. It's about managing your time. If you're into it, if you're a real wonk, you're real nerd like I can sometimes be and self-esteem is your bag. You read all four articles. You've got all kinds of highlighters and stuff like that and you run maybe a little bit over on, on the word count. That's fine. Enthusiasm is great. If you want to go ahead and uh, work above and beyond, I have been known to give extra bonus points when people have done a really great job. So if there was a 15, you might actually get a 17 or even an 18, okay, if it's a really good post. Um, because I recognize effort, and that will then go to your final grade and, and also boost your um, total score up um, and counter any problems you have either missing an assignment or, um, or not doing as well on another assignment. So group or individual presentation on a chosen emotion. Oh, did I? Oh, yes. I talked to discussion board. This is geared toward engaging present issues in your life and finding a way for material to interact with your own life situations and interests. I'll give some possible prompts. I do, you know, basically you're sharing your thoughts, questions, and reasoning here, okay? So that really is a much more sort of popular culture engagement. I'm, I'm, I'm very, on that one I'm lax in terms of grammar and so forth. I really just want to see you engage. There will be a group or individual presentation. If you're in summer classes, we don't have a lot of people, so sometimes there's an individual presentation. For you guys in these bigger classes, I need a group presentation simply because there's just so many people. You'll be split up into groups and we'll all be just, you're picking one of these six classes of emotions. And you're going to basically find ways to transform for instance, sadness, depression, and grief into happiness, joy, and care. Okay? You can read through that. You know, I don't need me, but basically, again, you're picking an emotional class and an area of concern. Okay? Like stresses in the military, family, or gender bias, etc. And you're using that emotional class and an area of concern, and you're working through given this description. Okay? And finally, there's the emotion and motivation and autobiography or goal paper. Okay? You're, se you're selecting a significant goal. You're doing an emotional profile on yourself. You're, you're showing how sociocultural va variables like family influences, socioeconomic status, gender, impact your understanding of this particular goal. You're going to share your major motivational influences, both positive and negative. And then you're going to develop some motivation strategies to help you reach that goal. Now, I do and have in the past give, allowed for a group book discussion on the Rosie Project, up to 20 extra credit points. I've only had a couple of people take me up on it. Usually you guys are doing fine toward the end. You don't really need that, okay? So I'm not going to belabor that. Um, we can just read through this. Online curriculum is different from face-to-face -face curriculum, as you well know. I've tried to manage this by actually giving you videos that you can do, okay? can watch. It makes it a little bit more personal. It allows you to engage the readings with my help. Um, I also have older videos from previous classes about engaging these questions, some of the insights that have come up. So these should all give you some really good supports, okay? Um, keep up with the readings. Early project submission, I'm not worried about that. I, I think I have it so that you can actually see a lot of the different ones, but just try to keep close to week to week. Don't get behind and don't get too far ahead, okay? Just allow yourself to get into a pattern. Yeah, here's what I would suggest, though. If you really want to keep your weekends clear, okay, <laughs> go ahead and do the discussion question. Remember, you get your material on Tuesday. Do your discussion question right after you get your stuff on Tuesday, right? Um, by Thursday, you're supposed, it's supposed to be done by Thursday, okay? By Thursday, other people will have their discussion questions. And on Friday, you could do your question, finish your question of the week, respond to one of the discussion questions for the other persons, and you're done. Your weekend is free. Okay, so that's what I would suggest you do. Okay, it's you know the question of the week and your peer response to the discussion board. They're both due on Sunday, but why not do them on Friday? Okay, blow through them, get them done, and again, here's the grades. You know, they're basically straightforward. You know, 90 to 100 A, 80 to 90 is a B, 70 to 80 is a C, 60 to 70 is a D, and 59 percent or left is an F. Okay. So again, we don't have much of a problem. Everyone who stays up with the work and makes a good effort, basically almost everyone gets a B, unless they're missing work 
or the work is so mediocre and so cliched, uh, and usually it's a combination of the two, they, they may get a C. Uh, I've only had a few people that have gotten Ds, and I have had to hand out one F simply because the people didn't do the work. You, do, you engage this class, and you can get a B or an A in a fairly straight uh, uh, forward way. Okay, whoops, I have a typo here. Here we go, normally. Okay. Um, uh, course projects will normally be graded within one week. Um, I usually try to blow through them on Monday. Uh, and uh, with 35 people, here's another comment I will make, though. I won't be doing a lot of comments on your papers. With 35 students, it's almost impossible to do that, okay? Uh, if you have a, I will make a particular point or a question, you know, or just say, good job, well done, something along those lines. And sorry, in this, with this size class, it's really difficult to keep the time management to a, a severe degree. Uh, it, it, the time management is really has to be severely sort of disciplined, uh, approached in a disciplined way. So again, institutional review board, these are just the boilerplate stuff that the university makes you put in there. You can read through all of this stuff. And that's pretty much it, OK? Um, if you have special needs, if you are, have insecurities, if, you have, uh, if you're a non-conventional learner, I tutor non-conventional learners, uh, please just share that with me, OK? I'm really wanting to uh, work with you to make sure that this class experience works for you, OK? So basically, that's it. You've got the calendar. You've got the syllabus. In the other video, you had a quick start guide. And you had a tour around the website. Between these three, uh, between these two videos, you pretty much have what you need to start. Okay, so I look forward to engaging you, and we'll see you later. Dr. Zeus saying thank you and goodbye.